I've been shooting street style since 2018, right? So I face rejections when I approach people to shoot. But then I do have very interesting stories from like many different people that I meet along the way. I love fashion. I think very subconsciously, as a girl, you always like dolling yourself up. When I was growing up, I've always loved capturing photos and capturing memories. Back then, there wasn't any social media and I was super into Polaroid, so I think my interest in photography started from there. I just love people in general. I love learning about their stories and the conversations that they have. When I approach someone to shoot, I'll be like, hey, I really love your clothes, can I shoot you? And then we end up talking about their hobbies or why they wear these clothes or where is their clothes from. Just brings a whole new perspective to that person that I shoot. There's one particular photo that I really love. I was just walking by Carriage Works. From a distance, I noticed a girl. So I shot her and she was telling me like, hey, I actually made the bag, so everything is upcycled because she's very into sustainability and we became very, very close friends and I met her again. Then I shot her boyfriend and I shoot her now. As a fashion photographer, I love to be stylish and on trend. So if I'm only shooting just the street, I'll always bring 70 to 200 and that's it. And then I'll just walk down the street. I'll try to bring a bag just big enough to like fit that camera in to shoot. My granddad, he's super cool. He worked at Opa Villa as an artisan. He inspires me because he has eight kids and raised them up with his very mere salary. But he just continued to pursue his passion and his interest. He has an influence in me to eventually pursue the street style photography as my full-time career job. Ultimately, that's my end goal, to get a book out there on the street fashion of the cities that I visit. Canon, delighting you always.